most pharma companies already started using data to inform their decision-making process, but they are still struggling with getting this data, getting the HCP insights, and they are struggling with getting uh, the right content and the right channel for the right HCP. The other challenge is that uh, the pharma companies are still struggling moving from the strategy to the execution. So HCPs are still not getting yet this high value experience they are expecting from pharma. They are not getting yet the high quality engagement. Uh, we have conducted very recently at Aptos Health a research in collaboration with DT Associates that shows that HCPs, when they are engaging with any uh, content, they are looking for trust, relevance and simplicity. And this what will drive great customer experience. So at Aptos Health, we operate one of the largest HCP engagement platforms in the world. Uh, that has access to more than 4 million HCPs in 91 markets and creating this trusted and unbiased environment, generating more than 4.5 million engagements on a monthly basis with the HCPs. Through Univadis, what we provide to the HCPs is that they stay up to date with simple clinical, clinical information and created scientific content. They get access to the relevant resources like the database, the drug database, and they can get stay educated on the key topics through education modules or quizzes. So as I said in the previous question, the key uh, pain points um, for pharma companies are how to get relevant uh, HCP insights and how to provide personalized experience. So the basic applications of machine learning and artificial intelligence is how we can better target HCPs and how we can recommend the right experience to the HCPs. And if we uh, look at our experience at Aptus Health, we already apply machine learning and artificial intelligence on our content, the content that we provide to HCPs. So the content artificial intelligence algorithm can scan the contents, can scan the interactions that the HCPs had with the content, can model the affinity between the HCPs and the content. And by the way, when we talk about content, it's not just the what of the content and the information that it contains, but the how, meaning is it a technical content versus scientific content, so we can go deeper into the dimensions of the content.